Welcome to King Said So, Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite your Pan-Africanist podcast. Enjoy. Peace in Pan-Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Said So. I'm your host, King053, Mr. Izzy Imale Nengi and we're back at it again with another one. It's been a minute since we have made serious content about Africa, and it is my responsibility and the channel's mandate to continuously educate Africans from all around the world as to what is happening in um, Africa and to Africans all around the world. So my apologies for that. The African content will continue uh, to come. Now, according to me, the best three countries that pro uh, promote and practice pan-Africanism is Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger without any doubt in my heart. Now, we are speaking about the general of Bur Burkina Faso, who is the youngest president right now in Africa, only 35 years old. We are speaking about uh, the general of Niger, Abdul Rahman uh, Tiani, who is who took over from Mohamed Bazoum, the former uh, Niger president? And we are speaking uh, about the general of Mali, Asimi Giota, Giota of Mali. Those three generals, for me, they are the best people that are practicing pan Africanism from anyone in Africa. No one comes close. In fact, no one comes close. Not uh, Uganda, uh, Uganda that is fighting uh, Kenyans. Not Rwanda that is fighting Kenyans. Not uh, Nigeria that is fighting Burkina, uh, Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. Uh, no one comes close. Not South Africa. Not Mozambique. Not least. nobody comes close to practicing Pan Africanism uh, than these three uh, generals. They have shown us the way that Africa, it is possible to unite. Why am I saying that? Number one, these generals, since taking over their countries with the military, because of the cry of the people, the cry of the people was, the people were saying, we are tired of our presidents. They are no longer serving the interest of our people. They are serving the interest of the European nations, in specifically the French, the France country. A France country that was looting them out of their natural minerals. You know, every African country has got some type of natural minerals that the outside world are interested in. It first started with the Mali a general, uh, Asimi. He then took out the, what you call, the president. And then immediately in a month after taking out the president, he changed the national uh, language, the official language of Mali was French. He changed it and he said, we are no longer going to speak French or going to uh, trade in French. We are starting now to acknowledge our indigenous languages as official languages. Imagine, France is not even in Africa, but so many countries in ECOWAS. ECOWAS, what is ECOWAS? You guys know ECOWAS? as being the 15 countries in the east of Africa, okay? So, so those, those people, those people, uh, they were tired of their president in Mali. And then it came to a, a, a situation where the general had to uh, heed to the cries of his country, took them out, took the president out, and started changing his country. Remember, these generals, we look at them as people that are not economically wise or economically educated. They don't know how to run the day-to-day the, the, the -day, uh, operational administration things of a country. But they have proven us wrong. Secondly, it was the general of Burkina Faso, the youngest, and I said the best president in Africa, Ibrahim Torre, who said, listen, I'm taking over. I'm taking over Burkina Faso. 
Now, Ibrahim Tore, he was being called in the second resurrection of Thomas Sankara. You know Thomas Sankara, I think he was assassinated at about 35 years old. He was also a young president of, of Burkina Faso. In fact, he's the one that changed the name from the old name of Burkina Faso to Burkina Faso. Thomas Sankara, about in 1984, 83, somewhere there. Now, Ibrahim has improved the infrastructure of Burkina Faso more than the president could have, uh, uh, his former presidents have done in the last 20 years. He has, he has been able to do it in less than a year. Infrastructure is improving. The roads are improving. He's got uh, ties with Russia. He's putting in nuclear uh, deals for electricity, nuclear deals for weaponry, everything. The country is growing. In fact, these three countries are among the fastest growing economies in Africa right now. Now, we've got uh, in Niger, uh, Abdul Rahman uh, Tian. Abdul Rahman Tian is the general that I respect a lot. And I think the, uh, the general who, f who faced uh, more uh, resistance from taking over government more than these other two. Why am I saying that? Niger is the highest producer of uranium in the whole world. Obviously, if it's in Africa, it must be the highest because here in Africa, we are not in lack of any resources. Now, what is uranium? Uranium is a, is a mineral that you can change into um, energy source, such as electricity. Now, France was taking the uranium out of, um, what you call, out of, out, of, out of Niger and making electricity in, in France. But the problem is that they were buying uranium per kilogram, they were buying it at 80 cent. But because they were taking a surplus of the uranium from, from Niger, they were selling it to the, to the rest of the world for $200 per kilogram. Buying it at 80 cent and selling it for 200 to what type of madness is that what type of president was mohammed bazoum who would allow such things to happen under his watch that is why the the people of niger were sick and tired you have never seen people support the army the way they were supporting the niger army uh, or for taking over tuffling the, the the government back then now these three countries uh they were threatened, specifically Niger, because Niger supplies electricity to France. Supplies electricity. So the, uh, uh, Abdul Rahman uh, Tian said, listen, it's stopping. You're going to buy this, this uh, uranium at the price that you are selling it, or you can leave us alone. All three countries started chasing away the embassies, the ambassadors of of France to say, listen, leave our country. All three countries were facing rebels that were attacking the armies of the of the of of each country respectfully. Uh, and then you find a situation after the French uh, the French ambassadors went and the armies because Fra France's army camps in these countries they left and then those rebel camps died. Burkina Faso and Mali and Niger came into an agreement to say, let's come into what they call a security ties agreement where our armies agree to fight together at all times. Why were they doing that? They were doing that because they had threats from ECOWAS, a community of the eastern part of Africa, to say, if you don't, if you don't um, what you call, release the, the presidents of the, if you don't give back the, the, the president power, we are not going to acknowledge you generals as, as elite, pre, uh, the legit presidents of those countries. So we're not going to do trade with you. Nigeria started cutting its electricity up supply to Niger. Just imagine Niger that is lighting up uh, France and the rest of the world does not have electricity. You know electricity runs the world. You can't run business during the day without electricity. There's fridges, TVs, machinery, everything. So Niger was running on, on, on uh, generators. Generators need fuel. That's the problem. 
The three countries, because they were threatened by uh, the, the Nigerian president, who is the head of ECOWAS, they said, listen, we are exiting ECOWAS. We don't want anything to do with ECOWAS again. Very interesting. Not only that, these beautiful three generals said, we are no longer going to use the C, uh, CFA franc. What is the CFA franc? The CFA franc is a, is a currency that uh, France uses uh, for these weak uh, African countries. Many countries uh, trade on this, this currency or use rather use this currency but their currencies are not printed just imagine your your country's currency is not printed in your country is printed in france and france is making you to use that currency where have you seen, have where have we seen such madness so the three generals are saying we are starting our own currency one africa one land one africa one currency one africa one army they are doing exactly what this channel is preaching. Pan-Africanism. Africans uniting and having one army. Africans uniting and having one currency. Africans uniting and having one president. So that's where they, 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 the, the next step is to make Niger, Mali, and, and Burkina Faso because they are bordering each other anyway um, to be one country. Then there will be an almighty strong part, uh, 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 country in Africa. So I'm very I'm very excited about this because if they when they change the currency when they change their currency the the treasury of France no longer has power over them because remember the currency you are paying if you are using the currency to pay off your debt and everything and now the general Abdurrahman of Niger is saying France has been looting our country for more than 100 years. They are now have to pay reparations for 65 years. You need to pay us back what you have been stealing in cash. Oh, I love this general. I love this general of, of Niger. These are true men. We don't have these true men anymore. We've got weak African presidents that are kick, kissing ass off of Europeans. But these ones, they are showing us that really it is possible if Africa unites and Africa stands up, Africa can survive on its own. Africa does not need any aid, medica, uh, medical aid, any uh, food aid, no security aid. No, there is no aid that we need from America, China and everywhere. We've got everything here. They, If they want to light up electricity, they must come to Africa buy the coal, buy the uranium. They need everything from Africa. We need absolutely nothing from these people. But when our African countries are going to wake up, we don't know. But we see it slowly happening. Chad Republic, which is just next door them, should also wake up and join what they are doing. They should, jo they should join. They should join them. You see? And slowly but surely, the other uh, ECOWAS eco countries are going to join um, these three countries. These three generals, we must sing their praises. They will never be forgotten. Let's celebrate them while they are still alive. Let's not wait for them to die first. You know, Ibrahim Torre had four attempts at his life that has failed from the army itself. The army that he used to take, to tuffle the, the, the president and he, he's improving the country. It's the same army that is getting funding from France to kill Ibrahim Torre. He might not live long because of what he's doing. They need those minerals from this country. And, but they are afraid of him because he's a young man who has made peace that he will die for the cause of bettering the lives of the Burkina Faso people. So we need to celebrate the lives of these people. These are great men and history will mark them as such. So we appreciate it. We are waiting for Sadek to, to wake up. We are waiting for the western part of Africa to wake up. Central Africa, all of these unnecessary wars that are happening in the central parts of Africa. We are waiting for central, the central part to, to wake up. The, the west have also started their own currency. They are busy with that. So we are waiting to see how is that going to materialize. SADC needs South Africa, Zambia, Botswana, uh, Malawi, uh, Namibia, uh, but, uh, what is it? 
uh, Mozambique, and all, all of these countries in the SADC need to form one currency. And at the end, all the African countries must have, must use one currency that is printed here in Africa. Because what makes a currency strong, the, the way the white people try to fool us, because we had we had the, the gold reserve, the minerals, they lied to our president and said, listen, ah, gold is nothing. What is important is this dollar. This euro is important than that dollar. I understand. Then they came to us and gave us a paper. We gave them the gold. They took the gold and formed gold reserve. So they stored the, the, our, the African gold in, in, in big uh, safes and uh, what do they call them? They stored them away. So after storing them away, then they come back to Africa. They said, because uh, Africa was asking, but why do we have this, do this dollar, this pound? Why is it so important? They said, no, the pound is, is, is strong uh, and is stronger than your currency because it has security behind it. We asked, but what is the security? They said, the security is the gold reserves that we have. By that time, they have already taken the gold reserve. They have already planted the, the, the mines that are taking the gold reserve each month. They are already paying off the president. It was too late. But anyway, the, the minerals on the African land, they are still there. We can still stop these people and say, okay, keep your gold. We're going to get our own gold from our land. And this gold, we're going to measure it against your gold. The one who has got the bigger gold will have the stronger currency. And Africa will still have strong i mean the gold in in zimbabwe is still literally untouched because of the the sanctions that that country has but it's still uh, uh exporting more uh, billions of rents of gold each year legally or illegally so so anyway that's what i wanted to tell you about uh that situation in france is that all i wanted to say not in france in burkina faso mali and niger i just want you africans please pray for those three generals Pray for those three generals. It's not easy being a Pan-Africanist. It's not easy. You see Pan-Africanists turning around and wanting uh, to dilute what we are doing and, um, you know, uh, damming down what Pan-Africanism actually means. And these three generals are really living that life of Pan-Africanist. You know, so I, I like what they are doing. Let's pray for them. Let's make sure that we are constantly uh, putting them in our prayers and um, if you love this channel if you love um, this content consider to subscribe as an african and consider to leave your thoughts on the comment section consider to leave it a like so that other people can see it the more we like the videos the more the videos spread so let's just have a word from our sponsor don't forget to pray and after you pray stand up african child do your best so that god can do the rest peace in pan africanism I salute you. Black Heart, the hustle continua. 100% good quality t shirts made to inspire your goals and dreams. T shirts are now available at an affordable price. Place your order now. 068 473 6908. Instagram at black7576. Facebook page Black Heart.